All right, guys, welcome. Today we're going to be looking at how to build a list of accountants, including their email addresses and phone numbers. Um, so we have a list here that was pulled for a client who is looking for owners and founders, directors and executives of accounting firms in a specific area. And this is what the list looked like when it was all done, minus the contact details that I've redacted here. So what we can do is we can click one of these as an example to see what they were looking at and go from here. So what we have on the left hand side is a whole bunch of accounts in a very specific area. If you want to replicate the search, you can go for accounts in take a state or a city, Illinois, and jump over to Coldlytics. So if you don't have an account yet, click on this white sign up button, get signed up. It's really quickly. I'm going to log into my account. We're going to click on that plus new button at the top of your dashboard. Here we're going to set how many leads we're looking for. So let's say we're looking for 500 and one contact per company. And we're going to go US wide. So we'll do United States. And then we'll come down to the seniority level and we're going to set this to owners and founders, directors and executives. Then under data sources, this is where we're going to specify the search that we were just looking at. So We've pulled up a list of accountants in Illinois and we want the entire United States and that's perfect. So we're gonna copy this link as a starting point and then we're gonna paste it in here. And how this works is that we actually go out and we scrape all the companies that match your search in the area that you're looking for. So in this case, we would look for all the ones in Illinois, but let's come down here and go expand search US wide. And we'll go through and collect as much data as possible on these companies. And then what we do is we go and pass that over to our human research team who are experts in finding the emails and phone numbers of the people um, that are decision level makers at those companies we've specified. So if you're ready to keep going with me, let's click on that blue next button. And then we'll come over here to data points. So by default, you're always going to have the first and last name, the job title of that person at the company they're at their email address and company website. If you're looking for other data points, you can click in here and we can include links to their social profiles, uh, where they're located, what the company phone number is, or the direct dial for that individual, uh, the Google review count, how many and, and what their score is. Uh, we've got the GMB profile link and if they've claimed it, um, you know, company links to all their social profiles, uh, Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, and TikTok ad pixel detection on their website. So if you're selling advertising services, this is a great one because you can find out that they've already been intending to spend money on advertising if they have a pixel installed. Um, we can tell you if they've installed Google Analytics, if they have a checkout on their website, if it's an e-commerce site. Um, we can tell you if it's been built with WordPress, and we can also tell you how fast the website loads. So if you're doing SEO, this is one of my favorite data points because you can talk about Google's two second rule versus how fast their website currently loads. And you can even call out their competitors because you'll have a list of their competitors right there on that spreadsheet and say, XYZ company is loading this fast and you're loading this fast. And we should be looking at this time frame for your website to load to increase your search position. Um, so let's jump over again, click on that blue next button and we'll give this task a name. We'll call it accountants, accountants US wide. And then we'll click on start task to launch the task. Now we would normally confirm it and then we get an email in 24 hours out to you that gives you the link to the spreadsheet as soon as it is ready. That's full of verified emails and phone numbers and whatever else you were looking for will all be on that spreadsheet. If we click on your username in the top right corner and click on account settings, we can view the pricing. So from the light plan, you'd be looking at $100 a month for 100 contacts. All the way over to the pro plan, you'd be looking at $5.99 a month for 1,000 contacts, and that works out to $0.59 cents per contact. Remember, these are human-researched contacts. We do have a middle-tier plan as well. It works out to $0.79 cents a contact, and it works on a monthly basis. So you get a block of monthly credits. They do roll over each month if you haven't used them all, as long as your subscription is active. Um, so it's, it's pretty straightforward. There's no contracts, no commitments required. You can sign up. And if you, for whatever reason, aren't needing it in the, in the coming months, you can always cancel and it's quite easy. So that's how Coldlytics works. And this is an overview of how to build a list of accounts inside of Coldlytics. Thanks for watching and have a great day.